Okay, number six. The sides of the triangle are 9, 12, and x. I want one to be an acute angle. Me, I'm going to start with my, um, I'm going to call it hypotenuse, the uh, side down here, the side that I'm looking for. x squared, to be acute, needs to be less than 9 squared plus 12 squared, which means that x squared needs to be less than 81 plus 144, which means that x squared needs to be less than 225, which means that x needs to be less than 15. Um, so x needs to be less than 15 to make it acute, but there is a minimum for this. Um, if x kept on shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, and shrinking eventually um, it's going to be too short to make this triangle. So I've got to subtract 12 minus 9 to find that minimum length for x, um, which is 3. So I know that 3 is the minimum and 15 is the maximum. Remember, it has to be bigger than 3, so we're not including 3, and it has to be smaller than 15, we're not including 15. If x were exactly 15, it would be a right triangle. We don't want that, we want it smaller than that. And so, those are my answers. And I'm writing all over my next problem. Yeah, I'm not, that's not working for me, that's okay. We're good, we're good. Next problem. In triangle ABC, where angle C is a right angle. All right. The minute it starts talking to me about these triangles, I'm going to draw it so that I know what I'm thinking of. Triangle ABC. A, B, C. C is a right angle. The sine of A, all right, so sine of A, I'm focusing on A. Sine of A means opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite is 3, the hypotenuse is 4. Now, that leaves me with one unknown side. I can solve for that unknown side using Pythagorean theorem. We're going to say b squared plus 3 squared equals 4 squared. b squared equals, I'm just do some math in my head, 16 minus 9, which is 7. So b equals the square root of 7. All right, now find the five other trig ratios for angle A. I've already got the sine, so that means I need cosine of A. I need, actually, let me just write them all out. Sine of A cosine a, tangent a, and then I've got cosecant a, secant a, and cotangent a. All right, sine, I already knew. That was the one that we already did, so that's 3 fourths. Cosine of a, adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's square root of 7 over 4. Tangent of A, opposite over adjacent. 3 over root 7. I'm going to just jot that down because that's going to help me later on. 3 over root 7. I'm going to simplify that a little bit though. So 3 root 7 over 7. I think I'm going to write that. Cosecant. Now I can just take these and flip them, right? Reciprocal. And so cosecant is 4 thirds. Secant is again, um, I've got to kind of clean this up. So 4 over root 7 is what I'm thinking in my head, but when I multiply that by root 7, I end up with 4 root 7 over 7. And then the reciprocal, this tangent, if I start with this one, I'm going to end up with that square root in the denominator. So I start over here, we end up with the square root of 7 over 3. And number 8. Number eight says solve the right triangle. Solving the right triangle means that you find everything about that right triangle. So when I look at this, I've got three angles. Angle G, angle T, angle Q. And then I've got three sides. GT, I've got GQ, and I've got PQ. So those, I'm going to need to fill in all six of those. I've already got three of them. I've already got uh, three of them. Angle T is 90 degrees. Angle G is 27 degrees. And side GT is 31. The rest of them I need to solve for. We'll start with the easiest one, that angle right there. I know that I need a complementary angle with 27 
Um, so 63. 63 degrees. I know that because those three angles will add up to 180. All right, now I need to find the sides. This is where I start needing this calculator, okay? We're gonna use sine, cosine, tangent. I'm gonna use the angle. Try to always use what you are given. Don't use what you have found. So even though 63 is an exact number, I'm gonna try and steer clear of that. So I'm gonna call to find that hypotenuse. We're gonna say sine of 27. Whoop, nope. <laughs> Sorry, cosine. Cosine of 27 is equal to adjacent 31 over hypotenuse right there. Um, so I'm going to try and solve for that hypotenuse. Multiply both sides by H. One. And now I can go over to my calculator and I'm going to divide 31 divided by uh, functions, uh, cosine 27. And right now, as I'm doing this, I'm realizing you, you see that negative number, something's wrong. We go in here to function, uh, into our options, and we make sure that we're in degrees. And once you're in degrees, everything's gonna be okay. And that hypotenuse is equal to 34 point, and it says round to the nearest tenth. So that's seven, nine. I'm gonna make that 34.8. So that's GQ is 34.8. Now to find TQ, this is, this is where I'm definitely gonna say, avoid using Pythagorean theorem, because you just rounded that answer. So your answer is gonna be a little bit different. So you wanna make sure that you go back and you're gonna use another trig function. I'm gonna use tangent here. So we're gonna go tangent of 27 is equal to that opposite, um, call it TQ, over 31. Uh, to multiply by 31, um, so you got 31 times function tangent, because I already switched it to degrees, everything's gonna be okay, uh, tangent 27. And that's 15.79, we'll call that 15.8.